Hey everyone, Greg Taylor. Thanks for joining me here on a bonus episode of the New Marketing Show, Instagram TV, YouTube, wherever you're getting this content. So I just did a Trinity Web Minute talking about audience personas and how to create audience personas real quick. So now let's talk about it a little bit more. So what I like to do is, rather than, I don't talk about demographics, I don't think about demographics. Demographics are fleeting. Somebody will only be age 18 to 24 with X amount of income for so long. That's going to change over time. But what's not going to change is if they're your client, their attitude and how they use your product. So that's one thing that I learned from my good friend of Audience Audit, Susan Beyer, when she did uh, the New Marketing Show podcast episode 7. And if you haven't checked that out, definitely check that out in our archives at trinitywebmedia.com slash iTunes. So one of the things is if you make sure that you're addressing their attitude and how they use your product, and most importantly, the problem that your product solves, it's going to open the door and it's going to open your mind to more content that you can create to go ahead and solve said problem. Remember, and I said this, and Susan said this on a podcast, and I said this on today's Trinity Web Minute, the fact that they are not using your product or using your service is not a business problem for you to solve at all. That is not their problem. That's your problem, but it's not their problem. So what you need to do is you need to drill down and see what challenges they're having in the marketplace. What business problems are they having? How do you go ahead and how do you speak to them and how do you solve their problem based on what you do? So what we like to do is, you know, we create content. We create content with one or two specific people in mind. Right now, creating this, you know, this is based on conversation that I had in blog chat, you know, Sunday night, you know, on Twitter or something great that Matt Collier hosts. And basically what you want to do is, if you market to one or two people specifically in your mind, you know that there's going to be more people out there who have the same problem and you can address the same issues with the content. So while you're creating for one or two people, you're going to be addressing more people than that. Unless it's a very, very niche focused problem, but you know, chances are it's not. So what you want to do is go ahead, create and write with one or two people in mind, and then go from there. And from there, those people will magnify. And even if if you don't reach out and you don't solve their problem this time, they're at least going to know that you're a value source, valued source of content and information. They're going to come back to you for other stuff. So also, never, ever, ever neglect somebody who asks you that person, asks you that question in person or while you're speaking at a conference or on the phone or via email. If somebody asks you a very specific question like that, you better sure, I'm, I guarantee that more people are searching for that in the search engine. Create content around that that answers the question, solves a problem, and that's helpful. And make it about them and not you. Hey, thanks for watching. For more on stuff like this, check us out on The New Marketing Show, Instagram TV, or you can, you can subscribe to The New Marketing Show at trinitywebmedia.com slash iTunes. See you next time.